Welcome to Flash Tutorial Request 108 Inventory for a Quest Game. Um, to do this tutorial, you have to be able to use the, the drawing tools. You must be able to draw uh, in Flash. It's going to be a very long set of tutorials. I'm not sure how many it's going to be, but I'm going to try to show you how to set up a basic uh, structure for a quest game and how to keep an inventory of items that you either collect or give up through your quest and again I stress you must need to know how to use the drawing tools I have my flash program CS6 opened this would do work on CS5 as well as long as you have action script 3 you want to start a new FLA I'm selecting action script 3 the width of my stage here I'm changing that to 1024 the height I'm changing to 768 clicking OK we're going to call this first layer map MAP and we're going to draw a basic map and we're going to turn that map into a movie clip I'm going to make the stage down to fit the window so I can see it and basically I'm going to draw the background to my map paste in place and here it is it's just a rectangle that is the size of the stage and it has this uh, fill color right here and if you look up here while I'm touching it it says FF 9900 and I'm just going to center that best I can while it's all fuzzy right click right click convert it to a symbol make sure movie clip is selected call it map map shift underscore mc copy that select ok Open the properties panel and paste it in for an instance name. Okay, now if I know it's a movie clip because it's got this little circle here with the cross, if I double click on it, now I'm inside that movie clip. I'm going to call this layer my background BG. Locking it. I'm going to insert a layer and I'm going to call it the water. Now you can draw this any way you want. I wouldn't spend time trying to make it look like mine. And there's my my water it's just a, like a river east thing here a river with some lakes very simple drawing I'm locking the water layer I'm selecting the water layer insert another layer call it forest that background supposed to represent desert selecting that frame one come over here and I'm going to draw in there's my little forest it's just a short distance from my water. Um, have a new layer selected here. I'm calling it places, P-L-A-C-E-S. Over on my map, I'm putting in a bunch of places. All I did was pick up my, my text tool here. For example, I'm just gonna select one. I picked up my text tool, open the text property, I'm using classic static text. I'm using Times New Roman, bold, uh, 12 points, black, and click embed here. Click embed. And I want upper, lower numerals and punctuations. Okay. So now I have all these different names. And if I just do a close up, you'll get some idea what they look like. There's a place called Upper Tree. Upper T, Falls, Rapids Bridge, Last Split. They're just crazy names that I that I made up. With the window. Lock in that layer. Insert in another layer. I'm calling this layer Paths. P-A-T-H-S. Uh, A, Paths A, because I'm going to have more than one set of paths. And you're going to draw them in. There's my paths. They come from, from this place called home. 
They go through, cross some desert through this forest to this place here called, I think it's first X. So I have those paths. Lock that layer, insert layer. I'm going to call this paths B. Actually, I don't usually put a space in between there. And I'm going to put some path, more paths here. And selecting that first frame, and I'm going to draw some paths in here. And there they are. So there's my basic map. I'm locking all the layers of my map. I'm selecting the top layer. I'm inserting a layer, and I'm calling this button. It's B U T T O N S, buttons. And I'm going to make my picture 200 percent and right here home I want to put a button here so unlock select that first frame of my buttons layer come over here there's a either you're seeing a rectangle here or an oval or something uh, click here and I want to select the oval tool I want black for my stroke so that's black get that if you don't have black take the eyedropper and pick up black and here I want to color that I can see I'm gonna go with with a reddish color for my fill I got the oval tool selected I'm holding my shift down and right here close to the water draw a little circle there it is pick up your selection tool highlight it right click convert it to a symbol make sure this time that the button is selected and call this home H O M E shift underscore B T N. Copy that and open the properties panel and paste it in for an instance name. So we now have a button called home. Let's go back to scene one for a minute. Click here. I'm back on scene one. Going back to fit the window. And there's my map. Lock this map layer. Uh, insert a layer. Call it home. H O M E. Call it home. And select the second frame. Insert a blank keyframe. And here we're going to make the uh, a store sort of thing. I'm just giving myself some some area to work with. I actually want to change this name here to shelf. S H E L F. Changes the shelf. Second, select that second frame and draw a shelf. Very simple. You can make anything you want as long as you've got sufficient room for some items we're putting on. And you can see what my perspective is here. Lock that layer. Insert layer. Call it items. Insert a blank keyframe on frame two. And on that second frame here, draw all these items. I have something that looks like a rope, a couple of axes, rectangles for flint. There's a bow, a couple of bows, two uh, quivers of arrows. This is a bag of food, bags of food. These are water, gloves, tea, and torches and if I do a close-up you can see that under the items that's too big of a close-up under the items I have flints for fire there I have food written under food gloves written under gloves so you decide for your quest what you want to have let's make sure all the layers are locked select the top layer insert a layer call it frame labels f r m as in frame l a b s as in labels and frame 10 insert a blank keyframe uh frame i'm going to go use a lot of them uh 
10, let's go to 25. Insert a blank keyframe, select that frame 10, open the properties panel, and in here it says frame, write home, H-O-M-E. That's the home. And the home is where I want this store stuff to be. So click and drag both of those like that. Drag them like that. Click on them and pull them up to home right here. Lock all the layers. Select that frames label layer. Insert a label layer. Call it action script AS. Select frame one. Open the action panel. My action panel is usually docked here. If yours is not docked, go under window, click on actions, and type in this code. Type, 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 type. Stop, S-T-O-P, turns blue, open, close bracket, semicolon. And we have a movie clip called map, and we have a button called home. So map underscore MC, that's the movie clip, period. Home underscore BTN, that's the button, period. Add event listener, small a, capital E, capital L, all turns blue if it's done right. Open bracket, mouse event, capital M, capital E, turns blue, period. Click, all uppercase capitals, C-L-I-C-K, comma. I'm calling this map home, capital M, capital H, close bracket, semicolon. Now this calls that function up, function, F-U-N-C-T-I-O-N, turns purple. Copy map home paste it in for the function name open bracket event small e v e n t turns blue colon copy mouse event paste it in close bracket colon void voids the same color as function open curly bracket and as you start to type you're going to get this closed curly bracket if not put it in and i think this is going to work so i'm if, when i tried it i did a trace and if you want to just do this trace like that, trace, open bracket, quotation, you clicked home, close quotation, close bracket, semicolon. This is just something that comes up in what's called the output window. But what we're really doing is we're going to and stop. G-O-T-O and stop. Small G, small T, capital A, capital S. Turns blue if it's spelt right. Open bracket, quotation, home. That's that frame we, we made. Open quotation marks, home, close quotations, close bracket, semicolon. What's inside these quotations and the quotations are green. And the close curly bracket. Now I might get in error because of my button, but let's try this out. Control, test movie, test. I don't see any errors. I'm just going to make this a little smaller here. Oops. I'm going to just try to make this a little smaller. And when I click this home button, I should trace something over here and I should jump to that uh, inventory shelf. There, you clicked home and we're on that first shelf where we're going to pick up our inventory. Make sure all the layers are locked and select this items layer, insert a layer and call this inventory, I-N-V-E-N, inventory. Uh, we want to see the inventory here on this frame where the home frame starts. Insert a blank keyframe. And down here on this side, I'll make this 50%. Uh, right here, you're going to draw yourself a little box. Looks like this. In my case, it's about two shelves high if I show the whole thing. And highlight it right click convert it to a symbol make sure movie clip is selected and it's going to be i n d as an in inventory underscore mc copy that okay open the properties panel here it is inventory and paste in the instance name Double click on it, and now we're inside of this inventory movie clip. Call this layer uh, 
background, that's the background of my inventory, lock it, insert a layer, call this the items, and I'm going to make this larger, and we're going to put those items in this inventory as pictures. So you're going to paint, draw these in, and if I look at that, that's the rope, that's the rope from the, uh, the front, there's an axe, there's my bag of food, my jug of water. Uh, eventually, I know I'm going to use some some lumber for firewood that I'll I'll probably use to sell, and there's some meat that if I hunt an animal on the way. Now, uh, you can put another roll over here of items. It's up to you. However, you organize this, um, you can make them smaller. But that's and and I'm just showing you enough to help you make this this little um, inventory. Now while we're at it and we're still inside of this inventory movie clip what I did is I highlighted it, I clicked on it, converted it to a symbol and in here I gave it the name rope underscore MC. So if I look at the properties panel that one's called actually it's called rope 2 underscore MC that one is this one is called axe two underscore MC food two water two firewood F I R W O D firewood F I R W O D two and this one is called meat two. So now I have some items in my inventory. Going back to scene one. Now let's lock that inventory layer and select unlock the items layer. Select frame one and come over here. Click off to the side and highlight all those ropes. Don't you shouldn't get anything else, just those ropes. Come over here, right click, convert to a symbol. Make sure movie clip is selected. R O P E one underscore M C rope one. Copy that and paste it in for an instance name. And I'm going to do this one with you. Right click, convert to a symbol. X A X E one underscore M C copy that and paste it in for an instance name and I'm going to do the rest and get back to you. Now I've labeled them all. So if I look here I have rope one underscore MC here I have torch, or excuse me, axe one underscore MC, flint one, bow one, I think I call it arrows with an S. Arrows with an S, yeah, arrows with an S. This one's just straight food underscore MC, food one. The arrows was arrows one. Oh, got to put a one in here. Arrows one, Let's see if I got bows one. Bows one, flint one, this is water one, gloves with an S one, T one, and torch one. And I'm just going to try it once more, make sure I didn't introduce any errors. If I click on this, I jump to this inventory, and these are all movie clips. I think that's going to be enough for now. There's going to be a follow-up tutorial. Flash tutorial request 109 inventory for quest game part 2. So if you plan on doing that make sure you save this FLA. Hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learn.